Within any nursery, there are many functions and processes that need to take place before any plants can be grown. Soil serves as the growing medium for plants and adequate preparation is therefore a vital step in the process of plant propagation. In this video, we are going to show you how a commercial nursery goes about mixing the medium used for germinating small grass seed. If you are interested in starting your own nursery, then check out our video on 5 steps you can take to get started. We also have an ebook on the subject, you can find the link in the description below. With that in mind, let's get started. The main constituent of this medium is sphagnum peat moss. This is the decomposed remains of plant material that has accumulated over centuries. There are numerous selections of peat moss available to growers, from fine to coarse textured, and some also have a small amount of nutrients added. Based on the purpose of the medium you can tailor your selection to the needs of your plants. In this case where small seeds need to be germinated, a fine moss was used. To bulk up the moss, a germination mix was added. There are so many options available to you, large bags can be purchased from most garden centers but you will likely get more value for your money if you buy from a commercial or wholesale stockist. In a commercial nursery, large volumes of soil need to be mixed at a time. Thank goodness, machinery is on hand to assist with the manual labor. See here how the loader spreads the mix into a thin layer, then scoops it up into a mound and repeats until all is evenly incorporated. Due to the high water retaining capacity of the peat moss, a fine silica sand can be used to increase aeration. Even though the young seedlings will not remain in their trays for very long, they will nonetheless require a small amount of nutrients for optimal growth. For this reason, a slow-release fertilizer is also added to the mix. The loader will continue to flatten and mound the mix until everything is evenly incorporated. When sowing very fine seed, the ideal trays are flat and wide. On the other hand, trays with individual cells would be more ideal for larger seed. Here's a top tip for filling the trays. Because the seedlings remain quite small for a while, the young root systems will not grow very far down into the medium. This means that the bottoms of the trays can be filled with cheaper, lower quality soil. These trays are filled about halfway with compost, and they are then topped with the high quality, premium soil mix. The trays are then patted down and leveled. The soil needs to be compact enough so the seeds do not fall into any crevices, while allowing for adequate drainage and root growth. If you're interested in how the grass seed is then sown into these trays, you can check out the description for the link to our video. And that brings us to the end, we hope you learned something new. If you enjoy our content, be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and see you all next time.